Hi, and welcome to another Type With Me. In this week's episode, I want to talk about TypeScript top level await. So in this video, I'm going to work a little bit with Dino, right? So if we want to run this code, what we need to do is do Dino run allownet index.ts, right? So we can fetch the whole page of Google and then just do a console.log. So if we do so, then we get the text and that's completely fine. Yeah, this fetch returns a promise like you see here and then we can respond upon that, right? So imagine that we wanna change it a little bit and we want to do something like this function. Uh, it needs to be an sync function, of course. Uh, retrieve. Then we can do fetch. Right. It can be a const response equals await. Then, of course, we can do response.text. If it's a JSON, you need to do response.json, right? But uh, this is a HTML page, so we need to have that text, of course. And we can just return text. something that we could do, right? We can also do console.log of uh, text and this should be the same, right? So if I now remove this code, right? And we do retrieve because we need to call that asynchronous function, well, then this will work as well. Of course, this is also a promise, so <laughs> I need to await this as well, apparently. And that's great because in the console you get a promise pending, and so that's the reason how we know that it's a promise, and then you can just adapt your code a little bit upon that, and we see that we get some text back, right? And that's fine, that's okay, but like I said before in the title, I want to make this out of it, right? We don't want to have a function, we want to call it directly. And within TypeScript this is possible, you can have a top level await or should have a top level await. But I don't know if in Dino this is possible. So let's see. Well, it's possible, right? Again, you get here something like this. And of course, when you are executing this, for example, within Node.js and you have something like a uh, tsconfig, you will see that the top level await expressions are only allowed when the module option is set to ES Next or System and the target option is set to ES 2017 or higher. So you need to know where or how you are going to write that. And if you are going to write, for example, Node.js um, modules, well, you need to take this uh, rule into account. But if you are working with Dino, for example, well, you can very easily do so. And for me, it's a very powerful thing. Of course, you see, it's just a few lines of code. One of the things that I also want to do, I just want to check if that's possible. I think it's really cool to have that like that. So I'm going to do it like this, for example. I'm very curious. It's also working. So with two lines of code, we have uh, easy fetch and a console.log of that response code, right? So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something uh, from it. I hope you're going to play a little bit with that as well. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.